What's going on? Louise here, bringing to you today the HM2050 Creating Surfaces from Elements. We'll be generating surfaces from a elements only part, as sometimes you may receive a model containing just the elements and you might need information on the geometry in order to remesh it or do something like that. So let's get to it. First, open the fe to surf.hm model, which is something like a bracket comprised of tetra elements. We'll start by generating shell elements on the exterior of the model. So go to the tool page, faces panel. The entity selector is set to comps. Click anywhere in the model and then find faces. Hypermesh creates shell elements on the free faces of the solid elements and puts them in a temporary component called faces. So go ahead and turn on the elements display of the Tetris component. Now let's actually get the surfaces. In the Geom page, go to the surfaces panel from FE sub panel. Select the displayed elements and leave the options Auto Detect Features and Mesh Base Auto Tall. Um, the former creates 1D plot elements at feature lines and combines open-ended features to form closed loops and the latter determines the tolerance of the deviation between the surface and the mesh based on the element size. So set the surface complexity to 5 and click create. It takes a little while. Now that it's done, turn off all elements in the model tree and set the shaded view mode to check the geometry. Then click return. Zoom in and see that we have some overly complex features all over the model since it was automatically generated, but it, we could achieve a better delineation control by first using a, another tool called Plot Elements. So let's do that by first deleting the created surfaces. So go to the tool, to the delete panel, sorry, select all surfs and delete. Turn the display of the faces component on. Plot elements um, work very well when the elements selected form closed loops and they will basically indicate where the boundaries of the sur surfaces have to be. So we'll start using the features panel to automatically create plot elements. Then we'll use some manual methods to adjust the features as desired. So go to the two page, features panel, features sub panel, set the selector to elements and select the displayed ones. In the feature angle field, type 30. Change the analysis from simple to advanced and click features. Then Hypermesh creates the plot elements and gathers them in a new component called feature. Looking more closely in this area, we see that it has a somewhat complex geometry and a lot of unnecessary plot elements were created here. So let's edit that. Go to the Edit sub panel, activate the element features to remove element selector, and let's select these plot elements to remove. Um, it can be easier if we turn the faces component off. So when you're done selecting these, hit remove. And that simplifies the surface a bit. We can add as well as remove delineation features. Um, let's add one by activating the nodes to add features node list selector. Then select this node on the corner and another more or less in the middle of this line, then click Add. So Hypermesh creates a straight line between them, indicating that the plot elements do not have to follow 
the elements edges. So let's fix other lines created in zigzag all over the model. Turn around and zoom in on this area. Activate the element features to remove selector and let's remove these. You can turn off the elements if you like to make it a little easier to pick them up. Add straight lines in here and in here. And go on deleting other bad features that would just complicate our geometry. Remove the excessive feature lines in the holes too. And we could probably have had less work just by increasing the feature angle for the creation of the plot elements. So you can try to play around with that and check if the delineation of your model gets better. Now that we have greatly simplified our features, let's generate the surface again. Back to the Geom page, go to the Surfaces panel from FE sub panel, set elements by collector and pick the faces component, then select. Toggle this to Features Edges by collector, pick the feature component and click Select. Then click Create. Wait until it's finished. Now we can turn off the elements to check our surfaces and see that it is much better than the first one we did. That was it for today. We have learned how to extract a surface from a mesh and how to defeature it to make it simpler for a subsequent meshing. I hope that was useful for you in some way. If it was, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.